the system is broken. I'm a GP, my husband is a GP, we weren't able to access the test via the normal routes and we had to cheat the system. Claire Silito voices the frustration of many. A sick child with suspected COVID but no way of getting a test. I must have refreshed that screen a hundred times. I checked all night, 2am, 4am. I checked again all day Sunday. Um, and again, there was absolutely no test sites available. Um, and then what did you do? So on Monday, in desperation, because I'd already missed a whole clinic of seeing patients, I then went to a local test centre and just begged and said that I'm a local doctor, I really need to have a test to enable me to see patients face to face. Um, and they were lovely. They, they helped me to, to manage to, to get a QR code by using a postcode in Scotland. Why are people still struggling to get a test? Infections are rising, capacity is falling. The issue at the top of today's cabinet meeting. The health secretary then called to the Commons to explain. He says it'll take weeks to manage demand. There are operational challenges and we're working hard to fix them. As demand has risen, so we're having to prioritise once again. And I do not shirk from decisions about prioritisation. They're not always comfortable, but they are important. The top priority is and always has been acute clinical care. The next priority is social care. Keir Starmer himself isolating accused the government of not planning for a predictable rise in demand. What it's doing is promising for tomorrow and failing to deliver for today. Um, what I say to the government is focus on the problem you've got. There's obviously a problem with the system. Accept it's a problem and do something about it. Many will agree with Keir Starmer. Schools, colleges and universities returning alongside many workers was bound to spread the infection, leading to a rise in cases. Matt Hancock says there are some operational challenges, but won't say exactly what these are. And we know that Dr Silito did manage to get a test and the results so there must be at least some capacity in the system. And one lab we've spoken to says it's carrying out tens of thousands of tests every day. So where exactly is the problem? It may lie with the government's strategy to cope with its testing workload it asked university staff to help in its newly established Lighthouse Labs, a network of public and private labs. But some of these specialists were only contracted for six months. Boris Johnson asked for them to return, but warned even more specialists would be needed. In his letter addressed to leaders of universities, the Prime Minister says, we need over 400 people to add to your workforces in these laboratories. The issue at the moment is the capacity within the Lighthouse Labs. That has falling quite suddenly and um, that's we think due to a loss of staff, uh, the staff that were employed in, in, this, uh, in the Lighthouse Labs at the beginning of this were largely came from uh, academic institutions and they're now returning to the, the job they, they started so they're now going back as universities return to normal life. The government says it is making sure critical workers like Dr Silito will be able to get tested. They are a priority, but that could be some weeks off. The need is now. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.